Make sure to stay connected with me. Follow me on social media as well as supporting the channel monthly on Patreon. Buy merch from my Teespring store as well as going to the website to check out more of my content. What is going on, guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I want to talk about Maya in this particular commentary and her struggles when it comes to dating. And if you've seen any of her recent interviews you will know that this pretty much a lot of the information is coming from her okay now we're going to get into it but i want people to understand this before i get into my commentary okay none of this is scripted everything here is notes it's me you know speaking off the cuff that's what i do in these particular videos you can check out the catalog but when it comes to maya okay she's 40 years old she's basically trying to revamp her career after years of pretty much being in the background and she also is staying away from dating due to struggles that she is having okay now we're going to go down the list on some of the things and the issues and why she cannot find a man or why a man may not be interested in dating her especially a successful man with options okay and that's what we're speaking about we're speaking about successful men with options who really are not going to look in maya's direction now now, Maya's 40, uh, she's single, she's a minimalist, and she is a staunch vegan, and we're going to get into that, because she has no interest in dating men who eat meat, even though a lot of the men who has these uh, physiques that y'all like so much, uh, they eat a lot of steak, they eat a lot of red meat, not all, but most of those guys, so, uh, but anyway, uh, we're going to get into that. But Maya has dated multiple men in the industry. She's been in the industry since the late, since, I say late 80s, late, uh, late 90s. She's been in the uh, entertainment industry since the late 90s. And she has dated her fair share of celebrities. Now, from 96 to 2000, she was involved with Silk the Shocker. 2005, she was involved with the game. Uh, in 2010, she was involved with former... NFL player Larry Johnson in 2011 she was involved with Deshaun Jackson which is actually very interesting she was being involved in, with him because that shows that she you know doesn't mind hooking up with the younger guys as a matter of fact there is a photo of her with singer Dave East and they were very uh cozy with each other you know a woman will let a guy be that cozy with her unless she you know, was interested in him either to have relations or they just really, 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 really cool with each other. Now, there were some notable mentions, you know, Cameron and Gucci Mane. She's denied ever getting with Jay-Z or 50 Cent. But after about 2012, she sort of went, you know, pretty much in the background. She wasn't dating anybody, wasn't doing anything in the industry, just sort of went away. Until about 2019, I saw her in a reality show with Lil' Kim, you know, and, and again, she looks good for her age. She really does, even though she's only 40, you know, it's not that she's 50, you know, you know, she's keeping herself in shape. She's a vegan, a staunch vegan. So I can see why she keeps herself together. You know, health is in fitness are becoming popular. I would say nowadays, you know, you look on Instagram, you look on social media, you have a lot of females showing off their bodies that either they paid for or they got in the gym. OK, <laughs> and Maya, you know, Maya, uh, I'm going to say that she's one of these females who shows off her body a lot, but she, you know, she definitely shows you that she's keeping herself up. Now, the thing with Maya is that she doesn't have any children. You know, she is 40 years old. Uh, she is um, single and she she's never been engaged. She's never been engaged. She's never had a man want to marry her, you know, and, and that would be that's very weird. Uh, if she's been engaged before, um, no one knows about it. She won't say anything. Um, She's being very mum on her dating life, especially after 2012, you know, and I see that as somebody who I think like being a civilian, like being just regular, not being in the public eye. Uh, Maya is very intelligent when it comes to the industry. Uh, she talked about how her ex-managers 
wanted her to date celebrity men in order to get publicity and she refused to do so even though she did date celebrities and but she's saying that she refused to do so which led me to believe that there were uh, guys in the industry uh, who her managers wanted her to date and she didn't want to date them and that to me just shows that she didn't want to be perceived as an industry you know thought you know she was very conscientious of her image even back then you know i think more so than now because a lot of these women in the industry are dating these guys uh, because they want publicity and i think that maya especially when it comes to this not dating meat eaters I think she has a false sense of options. I, I really do believe that she believed that she has more options than she does. When you're talking about how you don't want to date a guy who is who has death breath, that's her words, not mine. Okay. She said that she smelt, you know, this guy she was interested in his breath, and you know, it, it smelt like complete death, according to her. Uh, and she's not interested in men who eat meat. Uh that is going to hinder your dating because if that's the only thing that is going to keep you from getting into a relationship then obviously you are more delusional than you appear to be and again you have these women in the industry who struggle to date uh because their standards are just very unrealistic or you got those who hang on far too much to their youth when they were in and out of the clubs, when they were had all attention from all these different men, and they don't have that anymore. Maya is no different. I believe she thinks that even though she's focusing on her career, as she says, uh, being celibate, I still think she wants to be in a relationship, but she wants to pick and choose the type of guy she wants to be with. But today's time is, is changed social media has changed a lot since 2012 it has evolved men aren't gonna wait around for you to want to love meat eaters again okay <laughs> men don't care about you you know uh you know having to come around as to whether you want to date a guy who's not a vegan they're just gonna move on to the next chick i mean you go on instagram you see a bunch of women who are attractive who are young who have nice bodies or whatnot. So a lot of guys are not gonna wait around. I think that Maya has to understand and, and be able to compromise and say, you know what, I'm a vegan, you're not, but we can work on certain things. But to say that you flat out don't wanna deal with men who aren't plant-based, I think that that's just, you're, you're asking to have issues dating. And of course, you're going to be focused on your career. You're going to be celibate because the only type of guys who are going to want to get with you are guys that just want to sleep with you. They, they're they going to feel like you're more of a headache than, than you are um, someone who brings something good uh, to the situation, you know? Now, again, I talked about how Maya went away for a while and she sort of went out the public eye. People are talking about how she's broke. Amaya um, is worth four million. So her type of broke is different from you and I type of broke, okay? I think we gotta get that straight. Now, when it comes to older women, women who are close to hitting the wall, I think these women have to understand that men are gonna move on. There's more women than men. So you can't just be out here with these unrealistic expectations and, and think that you're going to find the guy that you always wanted, you know, that the guy that you're waiting on, um, that's not the case anymore. A lot of men are more red pilled. A lot of men are going their own way. They are not waiting anymore. They have caught on to the game that a lot of females have been playing as far as dating the top 15 to 20 percent of men okay and being the, the the cleanup guy and there are a lot of men 
no matter if they are famous or not, who are not willing to be cleanup men anymore. Okay. They're going to move on and be with women who want to be with them. And I think that Maya has to understand that talking about how you're not going to date meat eaters and things of that nature is only going to hurt you in the long run because you're 40. You're on the back end of your beauty, not on the front end. You know, you, you can't be picking and choosing anymore. I mean, you, you can pick and choose, of course, as far as the type of men that you're going to deal with. But you have to understand that those same guys that you dated um, earlier on in your career, those same guys are not going to be interested in a 40 year old Maya. OK. You're getting close to Dave East. But that doesn't mean that Dave East is going to claim you as his girl. And maybe that's why, you know, nothing came of what, you know, that situation may have been, you know, um, there's a lot of options out here, man. There's a lot of women who want fame and they will do whatever it takes to get it. They will show as much assets as they can <laughs> in order to get with one of these famous rappers or athletes. I think Maya has to understand that men nowadays have options. And if they see you as somebody who's petty, if they see you as somebody who are not going to respect them or, you know, are not going to be functional mentally enough to handle a relationship with them, they're just going to walk away. The fact that since 2012, she has not been in a successful relationship just shows that maybe the problem is her and it's not the men that she's dating. You're talking about how a guy that you've known for 10 years because he eats meat that made you not want to pursue a relationship with him. That's that's kind of odd. If you ask me, there's nothing wrong with living a healthy lifestyle. If you don't like the fact that a guy eats meat and you want to date the guy, you're going to have to come to a compromise. Every relationship that is successful, there are compromises in it because you don't want either side to be miserable or unhappy. I think Maya sooner or later is going to have to figure that out.